sometimes back I was discussing with a friend of mine the topic of dua and subhanallah he told me that he's been asking for a particular request from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but he had never given him that request so I told him listen I've been asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for so many things and subhanallah al -Azim, for a year now I've been asking for a better back because my back was injured badly and I've been asking for Allah to cure me and even though I'm still experiencing the pain I'm still going through a lot of struggles and challenges but I am certain that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to respond to that dua if not here in this dunya he will give it to me in a better way in the akhirah and this is the gift that I want to share with you from the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam a beautiful dua just to comfort our heart and bring that peace into our life inshallah ta'ala because this is the intention of this program is to attain peace in Ramadan and beyond inshallah through these simple actions and understanding of our beautiful religion listen to this narration my brothers and sisters in Islam the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said ma min mu'min yansubu wajhahu ila Allah there is not a belief so from the beginning of this beautiful narration the Prophet ﷺ is telling us that no believer is excluded from this particular narration no believer these are the words of as sadiq al-Amin the truthful the trustworthy he's telling us from the beginning no believer who faces Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who raise up his hands asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for anything yas'aluhu mas'alatan he asks him for even a single request one thing singular mas'ala illa a'tahu iyah except that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give it to him. Look at the conviction in the words of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi Look at the yaqeen, the level of certainty in the language of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi Not a single believer who would face Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sincerely and ask for a single thing except that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give it to him. Imma ajalaha lahu fi dunya Either he will give it to him quickly in this dunya while he's still alive. Wa imma dhakharaha lahu fil akhirah or he will keep it for him that request that thing that you have asked for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give it to you in the hereafter in Jannah insha'Allah ta'ala so long as you are not in haste so long as you are not asking for it so quickly I want it now now today otherwise I don't want it at all and if you get it in the akhirah my brothers and sisters in Islam think about it the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in akhirah in Jannah fiha ma la aynun ra'at wa la udhunun sami'at wa la khatara ala qalbi bashar in Jannah there are that which no eyes have ever seen no ears have ever heard and never cross human imagination so whatever you have asked for in this dunya and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decided to keep for you in the akhirah will be given to you in ways that you have never imagined or expected and the companions who were listening to the Prophet sallallahu words asked him Wama ajalathu? what do you mean O Messenger of Allah that uh, the person who is supplicating to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is in haste like what, what is what does that mean so the Prophet ﷺ responded by saying دعوتو, دعوتو, ولا أراه لي, that I kept on asking and asking and I don't think that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will respond to me. They don't have that confidence that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the provider of everything, can give them the requests if not in this dunya in the akhirah so remember when you call upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, be confident that He is gonna give it to you whatever you ask for. Be patient. Don't be in haste. And if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not give it to you now, be sure and be certain too that He's going to give it to you in Jannah in a better way that you have never even imagined. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.